Welcome back to No Man's Land for episode 3 with me, Farm Sim Snowy. Good morning everyone. What a beautiful morning it is at our farm here on No Man's Land. I've been really busy this morning already. I've been down to the shop and I spoke to the guys there, Paul and Steve, who I've become quite friendly with since we've got here. I've ordered some new toys from them, which hopefully we'll be able to pick up a little bit later. Um, I'll show you what I've ordered in a second. And they've also put me on to a scrap metal dealer who's going to come and look at this and hopefully take that away from us today because it's broken and it's unsightly I don't really want it here on our farm and then the other two bits of good news is our soybeans are ready to harvest and overnight the soybean prices went up again so they're up to 1756 so we're going to get them harvested as quick as we can and sold off as quick as we can so we'll jump in this and we'll get going. So exciting times. Things are starting to look up for us. What I might do is get a worker going on this. So if we unfold our harvester first I'll do this first strip as well first just to get them going yes I couldn't believe that when I woke up this morning soybeans are ready to harvest the price has gone up excellent and we've got quite a few things we can do today we might not get them all done in this episode actually but we'll see what happens because like I said in the last episode I want to tidy some of these areas up where all these bushes and weeds are growing it just looks horrible so we'll get that going as well at some point whether it's this episode I don't know hopefully it will be even if I do that off a camera right so he's off and running what I'm gonna do is grab the fence and also we're gonna sell this We'll take that down to the shop with us because we're not going to need it. Because if we go into our garage, it's saying it's worth 5196 But if you sell that at the actual shop, you tend to get a little bit more for your goods. So we'll hook up to that. He says line up a bit better there we go now I'll quickly show you what we've bought or ordered they, sh they said they should be here any minute they're in stock they've just got to get them out so what did we buy we have bought in fertilizer technology we bought ourselves this and the reason I went for this is because it's not a wheeled one, it's not a trailed one, so it just hooks onto the back of your tractor on your three-point hitch. And it's so we won't damage our crops as long as we've got narrow tyres on. If we miss the first stage of growth with our crops, if they've grown a little bit more, we can whiz over with that and still do our fertilising. As long as we've got narrow tyres on. So I've ordered one of those and for the fent because 
we can sell those bells as well I've ordered ourselves a front loader attacher with some bell spikes so that we can pick those bells up and load them onto our trailer and we can sell them as well so there's a lot we can be doing which I'm quite happy with and it's all going to be earning us money so I'll see you down the shop anyway we'll sell this and hopefully be able to pick up our new bits of equipment here we go oh look there's our equipment ready and waiting for us they weren't lying were they good boys Paul and Steve right let's open up their doors because we need to back in here and get rid of this cultivator it's probably going to need a little bit of repair on it because if you repair your equipment before you sell it you normally get a little bit extra as well Just jump out of there, come backwards. Right, how much is that going to be worth? So, yeah, we've already made just over a thousand, I think it was five thousand and something it said. So, if we repair that, 17 euros again, we've made a little bit more steer on that. So, we'll sell that, that's another six thousand. That basically, I think, pays for the front loader and the bell spike. So I'm happy with that. What I might just do while we're down here as well, is this could do with some fuel. So if we just stop here and fill up. There we go, 125 euros for fuel, that's not too bad. We've got a full tank now. Like I say, if we get those that storage silo for the um, seeds and fertiliser, that's going to save us fuel because we won't have to come all the way down here. So we'll look up to that lot. And that. And then this. We don't have to fill this up with fertilizer because we've got loads of it back up at the farm. Left over from the last, last lot that we did. Right, so we've got new toys to play with. So I'll see you back up at the farm. Just need somewhere to drop this down now. I think we'll put this up by the case tractor for now. Like so. And we use we keep the vent with the forks on because we we'll use that in a minute to load up these. Ah, I'll tell you what I will do. While well, we're just waiting for him to finish that bit. Is our trailer that started off as a small trailer. We can customise that again. Into a bell loading wagon. So we can load all those bells onto it. So if we detach that because we're going to need this big trailer in a second for our soybeans we just drop that there we're going to make that, yep and then we'll put this in front of our workshop again and do a little bit of work on it take these extra sideboards off and turn it into a bow loading wagon So, 
I absolutely love our little workshop, our shed. It's a proper, like, dad shed, isn't it? The only thing missing out of it to make it my dad shed is a load of lawnmowers. <laughs> That's what he used to do for a living before he retired. So, customise. So if we put that to that, we can load that up with the bells. And away we go. There we go. Brilliant. I remember to hook up to it this time before I pulled away. If we just drop this, oh, is he gonna? He's out of control, isn't he? If we drop that somewhere like, I don't know, let's get a little bit square on. Um, hang on, because we've got bells there as well, haven't we? Well, we know no one's coming up this road, so it doesn't matter if we block it slightly. We'll drop that there for a minute. And then that's ready to load up in a sec, because he's almost done. He has there, look, finished. So, we'll jump in there. I shouldn't imagine he's got a full tank from just that small field. No, they've only got 2,934. It's going to be quite exciting though to find out how much we have actually got. Surely this field's going to fill up our tank on there you'd like to think right. get them set off again there they go I'll probably whiz over and start loading these bales up but it's a bit of a um mundane tasks so I'll probably bring you in when I've nearly done it so I'll see you in a sec so our worker's got a full tank which is going collect the soybeans from him ah he's missed a bit over there look Shock. I'm not sure how much we've got off of that. Well, we're not finished yet. Well, saying that, that should be... Um, where are we? 5,600 litres we should have had on there. Yeah. Well, and nine. So we've got a cheeky nine in there somehow. Right, I'll let him finish that. And I'm getting there with the bells. But as soon as I'm done, I'll um, bring you back in. So this worker's finished his task, apparently. I'm just going to quickly do this a little bit. And then we'll set him off on that field over there. To see what chaos they can cause. We'll start him up on that corner again, like we did with the seeds and that. Hopefully they get all that, and then I can carry on with my loading of my bells, which is being a bit fiddly. That's why I haven't done it on camera, because <laughs> we'll be here all night, I think. I will get it done. 
I'm going to try and get them all on that trailer as well. So that's that's going to be a bit of a challenge. So let's line this up a bit better. There they go, they're off. Right. I'm going to run back down and finish off my baling. Right, <laughs> I've got them all on. That is now empty. We can probably use that to store some equipment and machineries, but I'm pretty sure this is going to end in disaster. I'm not even sure if the shop will let us sell all of them like that in one go, but I'm going to find it out. I'm going to keep the forks on though, because if they don't, I'll have to unload them all again manually. This is going to have to be a slow, steady plod. I should think we'll be okay as long as I don't go silly. I'll let you come along for the ride though, just in case something does happen. Oh God, this is... <laughs> I think I am actually going to have to go really, really slow. Once we get on that straight bit of road, it should be alright. Straight-ish bit of road. I don't think I've ever stacked bales this high before. <clears throat> It'd be alright if they were all the same uh, type, so square or all square or all round. All square would have been better. Still we'll get there. 31 miles an hour, 32. I can see the shop in the distance. We're nearly there. Slow down, slight bend. Ah, oh, it's a ramp coming up. Our oh, help has nearly got a full grain of tank again. That's off that backfield. So we're going to have well over 10,000 litres of soybeans, which is good. Please let me sell all of these in one hit. Well, that's rather annoying, isn't it? Right. I'll have to unload these manually then. I'll call you back in when we're um when we find out how much we've earned from all this lot. That's a bit of a bummer. I'll see you in a minute guys. Success guys and we made from that just to the bottom there sold bales 10,108 euros. Just a load of bales that were lying around our farm doing nothing. I'm happy with that. So we're head back up as I should imagine our workers got a full tank now we'll get them unloaded so I'll see you back up there right let's get him unloaded quick and that's handy the pipe is that side so we can go drive straight down to him so obviously we can't drive across our crops, otherwise we'll damage them. Looks like they've done a better job on this field so far. I won't speak too soon.
so we should have over 10,000 now. Well, 11,200 is it? Yeah, plus that odd nine. I don't know how, how that works out. Right, we'll get out of his way. And also, while we've been down messing up, or well, while I've been down messing around with bells down the shop, our scrap man's been quite a nice chap by the name of Lee turned up and he's removed that. We only got 397 euros for it. But he's also interested in <laughs> but I said you can't have it yet because it's in use. He's interested in our silo and our old shed. I said I'm more likely to sell the shed than I am the silo, but I'll have to get back to him. So he was a bit like a vulture, really, looking around the whole yard, seeing what he could have. But um, anyway, let's move this because I think I'm going to now. What are we going to do? I think we should. Let's just plonk that there. And our forks. I think we should get some more stuff planted. Or crops, should I say, not stuff. So I'll plonk them down there. What are we looking at at the prices? Um. Canola's quite a good crop sometimes as well for, I think we'll grow some canola guys, shall we? Yeah, that's that settled. And let's just double check on our map. Yeah, so nothing needs liming because we did that at the start. And at some point today as well, I want to get sort of this landscaping done, get rid of all these weeds and horrible bushes and shrubs and hopefully our um, storage tanks going to turn up today as well I've not heard anything from the boys at the shop yet actually let's go down this road first this seems to be an awkward site because I think it's right on our boundary. So we want canola down the bottom right. I'm changing it. There we go. We're in business. Set that worker off. in the ground right what I was going to do help us see which ones help us see this one completed your task you've done one strip get out of here do not come back Jeez. How does he think, or she, keeps saying he, think that is completed task? Right, let's try again. Hopefully it's not hell to see. Hell to see has been banished from the farm. Right, I wanted to move that and start, I'll tell you what I could do. I could start on some of these areas over here with the landscaping, because even though these pallets are here, I should be able to work around them. So if we go into landscaping, and we want, 
it's at the right grass texture. Yeah, that's what we want. If we just start painting, so they call it, these areas, it will get rid of all these bushes and it will put nicer grass down for us. You've got to be careful though because this thing can be a bit temperamental. You end up going out over areas that you don't want. I've ruined fields by doing this before and it's not good. So we'll have to bear that in mind when we get over by our field. Get rid of those little bushes there. If it will let me. There we go. Right, let's open that up a bit bigger. Once we've got away from the edges, you can go to town on it then. It shouldn't cost us too much money to do this. I know some people are probably saying, oh, it's cheating doing that, but we're up having to pay for it so is it cheating so you like getting landscapers in and if they're anything like our workers be better off doing it ourselves so this is already looking quite tidy Go around here a little bit. In a minute, we must surely gonna hit our. There we go. Boundary. <laughs> as soon as I mention it. Any little areas here? Yeah, this little shelter now where them bells were. That's gonna come in handy for storing either tractors. That's if I don't draw over it. See, look, I've done that. I can finish that and tart that up myself later the main thing is just to get the worst of it done any touches little touches I can do off camera especially if I end up ruining one of our fields which I hope I don't probably leave that and also by doing this, putting down this other grass texture, I mean we could have mowed the grass anyway, but this will give us more of a nicer grass, then we can mow that area and um, either do some more grass bales and sell them or we could do silage. So we've got a few options to keep earning money. Let me do this bit here. So I don't know how much money this is costing us, but it shouldn't be a lot because our money's going down anyway as it is because we've got workers on the go. Right, well, I'll finish this off because you don't want to watch this all the time. I've probably bored you enough with this. And I'll see you in a second. Right, so I'll just finish that, guys. Yeah, I just caught that bit a little bit. I don't think it's... um. All right up to the edge is it that's good enough though so i've finished all that if we just go into landscaping mode you can see sort of better from up here so look how tidy it looks now tidy all that area up and i've even added in a new track there i did a little bit round here as well so we need to go and empty that harvester now I'll just drive this round here ready because we'll get some more canola planted in this field and then I'll run over and grab the case and 
we'll unload that harvester and we'll go and sell these soybeans. I'm hoping the price hasn't changed. It shouldn't have. So he's off and running. With the canola. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe we could, I don't know, I'd like to get rid of probably most of those trees just to open this area up, because if we do go into animals we could um, probably get a few round the back there. Now, I've got to quickly jump in there and get this pipe out. got in there. Hopefully quite a lot. Yeah, soybean prices have still stayed the same, which is good. So we'll go straight down and sell them. So we've got 14,326 litres. Good. Right, I head on down to the shop for the sale point and um, I shall see you down there. Here we are then, folks the moment of truth what we've all been waiting for our first set of crops growing our own how much are we going to make twenty-five thousand oh my days we are rich. <laughs> Brilliant. I'm so happy. All that hard work's paying off. Now, do we buy another plot? Or do we buy... Cause at the minute our fence isn't what isn't powerful enough to do some stuff it's only 150 horsepower which is why I lease this case so I'm debating whether to buy maybe this perhaps I could have a little word with Paul and Steve at the shop and see if they can do me a deal I don't know We'll find out. I'm hoping by the end of this episode our um, storage tank would have been delivered as well. They did tell me they were going to give me a call when it was on its way. So, but we'll find out. Anyway, I was going to say see you back at the farm, but we are back at the farm. Yeah, I think when it does turn up, I'm thinking of getting it put just here, where we are now, roughly. So it's kind of out of the way, because of the rocks are there, we can't really do a lot with that area. But it looks so much different now, it looks more open. So, got to be happy with that. What I'm going to do is park this here. And I'm going to whiz over to our worker because I might actually, 
I'm going to go and get our harvester back. Ah, oh, guys, it's here. It's been delivered. I literally just got into that and my phone rang. I wasn't driving. And it was Paul at the shop and he said, it's on its way. It'll be there any second. And they've installed it already. Literally just parked the harvester up. There we are. Look at that. Cost us 6,000, but you know, we're earning money. We've got to speculate to accumulate, as they say. But look at that. So that's going to give us seeds, lime, and fertilizer instead of having to go all the way to the shop. Although we have got enough lime and fertilizer probably to last us for a long time <laughs> of our small fields so on that note i think we're going to um carry on putting canola down into the last two fields over the back um i think we'll call it there for this episode yeah, we've got quite a bit done again. So, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, please give us a like. And if you don't subscribe yet, then please do. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine. I've been Farm Sim Snowy. Stay frosty. <laughs>